Hello, my gorgeous earth signs, and welcome to your weekly energy check-in reading. We are just going to jump right in and get started. All right, spirit, what do we have for these gorgeous earth signs this week for the next seven days? What do we have for these gorgeous earth signs? This is something. Gorgeous energy, the magician in the upright. You have all the tools necessary to accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. Um, you have the passion for it. You have the mind for it. Um, you have that uh, emotion that drives that um, want to bring it into physicality. It's like you have every tool necessary to make it happen. I love that for you. Let's see what else. Page of Swords. Um, I don't know if there's a new skill you're trying to learn this week or um, something. I hear something you're trying to embody. So um, for some of you, it could be more of the spiritual. And for others of you, it's more in the physical. Um, it's going to differ for everyone. I do feel like there is a situation where you want to learn something or you're brushing up on your knowledge to learn something. Um, hmm. you might actually be looking up topics, um, that someone else is into, um, someone you are emotionally wanting to walk towards. Um, they may have a certain something that they're interested in and you might not know much about it. And in order to really fully connect with this person, maybe you're brushing up on whatever that topic is. So you have something um, to talk about with this person where you know that they would be their most comfortable or their most animated self, right? Um, I feel like it, it's a really sweet way of wanting to walk into a situation to have this person feel comfortable is kind of what I'm getting. Um, so either this is your energy or flip it. This could be someone coming in towards you. Could go either way. We do have the devil in reverse here. So it's like, maybe you thought that, maybe you didn't at first because you thought it would be like kind of like you were cheating almost, you know, like pretending not to know something or um, brushing up your research on something. Um, maybe you just thought it was maybe not like on the up and up to do that. Um, but I think you've decided that it's fine if you take an interest in what your person is interested in. It's like you're not doing it to be manipulative and maybe there was some sort of... Um, hesitancy on your part or your person's part um, trying to figure out if what they were doing was manipulative or not and I think the dis the answer to that question was I, what are my intentions behind it and I feel like the intentions behind this particular situation are it's like it, it's all in effort to make this person feel comfortable and and um, to be themselves around you and I feel like once you figure that out it's like I feel like you're fine to kind of speak up and um, communicate with this person. I feel like you're just wanting to kind of balance things out um, to create that safe space to get to know someone with that temperance there. I feel like... Um, I feel like you just wanted to really know if you were doing the right thing. Um, by doing your research or maybe you're looking into this person online um, and maybe just checking their background and maybe there was something in your mind or your heart and you're like well maybe I shouldn't be doing this um, you know pretending not to know something but actually knowing it in advance maybe it's an effort to make you feel comfortable as well it's like balancing out the playing field Maybe this person knows things about you and you didn't know much about this person. Could go something like that as well. Um, I feel like you've taken some time to yourself. Um, and I feel like you've taken some time to yourself and maybe even gone through a healing process um, when it comes to going from a past relationship into opening yourself up to step into this. Um, we do have that two of cups there. So it's like, 
wanting that get together, wanting to come into uh, a union of hearts and minds here or on a lesser scale, but um, just getting it started and opening that door to romance. I feel like maybe it's been a little hard uh, to find out the right words to communicate. Maybe that's why the research was there in the first place. It's like just wanting to have a couple of topics to talk about so things don't fall flat or um, it's like we really want to further them from here, right? Um, we do have that emperor in reverse. And all I'm kind of feeling like with this, it's like we could take this as being malicious intent or uh, just uh, narcissistic energy, but I'm not getting that at all here. What I'm kind of getting from this is someone who would normally be an emperor in any other area of their lives. They're like that leader and they're brave and they're, you know, no fear when it comes to uh, doing this for work or doing this in this area of their life. But when it comes to dating or maybe just you, um, this person is a little, um, they feel less than, I hear less than adequate. It's like, I don't know what it is. It's, it's nerves or you matter. And that's why um, I'm kind of getting that energy here. It's like this person feels like less of that emperor, um, masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. But less of that leader and that brave. Do you have page of cups and I feel like it's taken a little bit of creativity to find a way in it's like I feel like this person has maybe tried other things uh, or maybe tried to get your attention with different things like maybe I don't know if it's like I kind of feel like for some I feel like it could go either way because I feel like I keep flip-flopping it's like I'm on one side and then I'm on the other it's like somebody coming towards you or, or you going towards someone so um, I do feel like whoever this person is that really has done their research, it's like they tried shining in your eyes just a little bit and maybe, I don't want to say boasting about what they have or what they've created, but kind of putting it out there that they've got something or that they've created something. So it's like you can view them as an option. Um, and I feel like maybe that fell on deaf ears. And so they tried to be creative about how they're coming towards you. Um, I feel like they don't want you giving your attention around to everyone. It's like they want your attention. They want you to just give to them. Yeah, let's see. Um, there may be a lot of competition uh, for you or for this person, whichever way it's going. Um, this person could be, uh, I hear a hot commodity or a good catch. So that uh, eligible, uh, bachelor, bachelorette type energy going on here. Let's see. And they don't want to miss out. They don't want to lose their chance. It's like, maybe they're feeling like they're losing, um, favor with you in some way or they're not getting your attention like they want to like you can't see them clearly um it's like I almost feel like they're they're just hoping that they're still in the running I don't know if maybe the way that they tried to get your attention before came off as being like kind of egoic and maybe a little too arrogant and they're hoping that they didn't come off that way. It's like they were really just trying to put themselves, like I hear a cut above the rest. So it's like they really just wanted to be a cut above the rest. So that way you would see them as the very clear choice, right? Um, but I feel like maybe this person did that in the wrong way. Maybe they were kind of boastful about it, about what they have, or maybe they think they're not, um, you're not even thinking about them at this point. Or they're coming out of this thinking thinking phase or this creative phase on how to get your attention now. It's like, yeah, they just, they want to be seen. That's what it comes down to. I'm hearing cut it. It's like, yeah, I feel like you're so engrossed in, in your life and what you're doing and what you're creating that I think you might just not even realize that there are a lot of people kind of vying for your attention. Um... So I do feel that that's kind of the case. It's like you're fruitful. You're that 
eligible uh, bachelorette, bachelor, and people want to come in for you, I feel like there may be a lot of people who don't know how to really get your attention. I feel like you're super focused on whatever it is you're creating for yourself. Um, but I feel like somebody is going to step towards you and um, make an offer. And I feel like that's what it's really going to take to be able to um, really get things going. I feel like to get your nose out of your book or out of your life or, you know, to get you to see a little um, outside of what you're doing. I feel like you're hyper fixated or hyper focused on um what you're doing in your life. You may be really busy. You may have a lot of things that you're sort of juggling in your own life. Um, normal everyday things. You could be a parent. You could have a really demanding job. Um, you could have family around that needs you or that you spend a lot of time with or friends. Um, so like I said, you just could be uh, focused inward. <laughs> um, so somebody's really trying to get your attention. Um, so kind of be a little more, you know, um, take a look around. You might be surprised who's trying to get your attention. I feel like it's somebody who's who's worth it, and I feel like they do have good intentions. So that might be something you might want to look up from your book for. <laughs> I'm going to pull just a little bit more. Yeah. All right. am for you is what I heard. I am for you. I really do feel like whoever this person is, they kind of see you as being that uh, other half material or themselves as being a perfect match for you. Really interesting. Okay. Uh, so I'll leave that there for a moment. So your initials, their initials, uh, dates, times with numbers. I heard 56. So somebody could be, be 56 years old. Okay, let's see. What do we have for these gorgeous earth signs? <laughs> I hear networking and luck in business. I feel like a lot of you are doing really well or you're about to be doing really well in business and um, with business connections. You could be growing a business or helping a business grow. I feel like this is where you feel confident. This is where you shine. I feel like you've been steering in this particular direction for quite a long time. Maybe you've just launched a new business. That could be for some. For others, you could be in line for a promo promotion. That could be coming up as well. I feel like you stand out for your unique qualities. I feel like what you have is a cut above the rest. And I did get that in the reading. So I do feel like um, you also have, I think that's why this person sees you the way that they do. Um, if we're kind of reverting back to the reading there, it's like they see you as, as having something more. And I feel like they know they have that more too. And they find that maybe the two of you would be a really good match in that way. I'm seeing somebody clamp two pieces of wood together, um, two of the same shape. So it's like we're the same and we should get together. It's like we should stick together. And I kind of feel like that's the energy that's kind of coming in here. It's somebody sees a like soul in you or the other way around. Um, I definitely think they're going to communicate. We've got that little telephone there. Um, this person could be at a distance or there could be some travel involved this week. Uh, for some of you, and it could be completely unrelated to this situation, or your person could be traveling this week. That might be a way you might be able to pinpoint them. It may be a way on business or something like that. Um, I feel like things are going to change in this situation and in life in general. I do feel like more opportunities are flowing in to create a wider spanning network, and I feel like um, more avenues is what I hear for monetary income to sort of come in towards you. I feel like you're like at a really great spot um, to have a lot coming in for you. Really gorgeous energy, earth signs. Love that for you. Sounds like it's going to be a really good week. You may have someone stepping towards you or you may be um, gearing up to step towards someone else. Okay, that is what I have for you. Uh, until next time.